Metals are very disruptive and disequilibrating to your biochemistry. It can move one person this direction, another person that direction, by interrupting enzyme pathways, by interfering in hormonal pathways, by disturbing the kidney or liver health or digestive health. So it's a very potent way to push anybody off of equilibrium. And how do people get mercury inside of their bodies? Well, there's two main paths to get mercury. One is dental amalgams, and that is probably the most pernicious way. And the other way is through eating fish. You also get mercury from the air and from vaccines, though air emissions are decreasing and uh, the amount of mer mercury in vaccines is decreasing as well, leaving your two main pathways to be dental and dietary. That air pathway, mercury in the air, is it just in the air or is it coming from coal burning power plants? Well, uh, it is naturally in the air from volcanic activity, but the most uh, active way that we say fertilize the air is through coal burning power plants, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if somebody has heavy metals in their body, how would they know that? How would they know? Well, how would they go about testing for it, or how would they see in symptomology? Well, how would they see it in symptomology to know that they might even need to get a test? Well, often uh, a lot of people that I deal with have, have gone about, uh, they have a lot of what are called idiopathic problems. Idiopathic meaning they don't know where it's coming from. Why are my kidneys failing? Why do I have liver problems? Why do I have chronic hormonal problems? Why do I have irritable bowel syndrome? And uh, a lot of these things can be traced back to metal exposure. Uh, it's more obvious when you have mercury exposure because you either have dental amalgams or you eat a lot of fish. But uh, often in the symptomology it's, it's from these idiopathic problems. Uh, with mercury the most common problems to look for are fatigue, depression, uh, often uh, it can be the opposite, it can be anxiety, so neurological problems, uh, or digestive problems, or hormonal problems. Mm -hmm. And why is it that some people seem to have a lot of these symptoms and issues who have dental amalgams, say, or who have had, you know, um, a lot of exposure through eating fish or vaccines, and other people seem to be okay? Well, that's the, the biggest question. Well, it's, it's a very easily answered question, but it's uh, probably the least understood out there among practitioners, and it comes down to uh, individual genetic and environmental differences in the detoxification abilities of the body. You need your glutathione system to be actively working to strip the mercury out as it's coming in. But it's very well documented that there's a range of different activities of that system in different people. So if your system is working very slowly and you have this constant exposure, drip, drip, drip of mercury going into you, you're not clearing it out fast enough and it's building up. So for somebody who clears it very quickly, they're clearing away their burden before it builds up. So it really comes down to individual differences in detoxification.